Welcome back everyone to Out of the Park Baseball 22 Miami Marlins franchise here for the 2022 postseason. We're going to see how this works out for the Astros and everybody else. I'm hoping the Astros can win it all. We'll see. Looks like they're going to the World Series to face off against the Padres. And the Padres win the World Series in 2022. At least that's what this game thinks for some reason. I don't see it, but uh, the regular season is over, the playoffs are over, and we have a review of the season goals from the owner, and uh, yeah, he's not happy. So team record, obviously, he's very upset about 60-101. and 101. Uh, Astudo, he actually is uh, not happy with that either, and I mean... Yeah, I can't really blame him for that, but he did have a good season, 286 with 11 home runs. So, you know, you can't really blame him for that. Um, on base, and he's not happy about that. And then, of course, he didn't like the attendance, which the attendance was terrible. And uh, the deadline for making the playoffs is not up, but he's worried with the performance. So next year, don't suck completely. Improve teams Team runs against increased attendance to 17,000 per game. Keep building the team up and reach the playoffs in the next five seasons. New budget. He's going to give us $85 million for team payroll, which is a significant increase. Considering we only spent about $40 million, uh, that opens up a lot of money. But the problem is Nick Cassianos is making 33 of that increase. So we'll actually see what we have here. But we do have the top two prospects in baseball. So that's encouraging. And the offseason, of course, begins. So let's take a look at the front office. Let's see. In terms of payroll, we're at 79.7 in 2023. So that means we have, well, 79.7 out of 85. That leaves us $6 million. Now, we could try to trade Cassianos. Now, Cassianos was really good for us, but he wasn't a game changer. If you look at his war, two and a half. I mean, he had good numbers, but a two and a half war is kind of sad for somebody that's going to be getting paid a lot of money. So maybe we consider trading him. That's a possibility. And that would open up. A tremendous amount of money for us but first we have to you know get these numbers locked in in our budget so arbitration eligible players now floro was absolutely horrendous and i really don't know why because the game ranks him as five stars we're gonna keep him but man he was bad hernandez was really bad and he's only two stars so we're gonna let him go Astudo was actually good. Uh, we're also keeping Ancantara and Lopez, obviously. Uh, Beatty was good for us, so we'll keep him. Cooper, Lopez, Toro was not good. And I don't really see a reason to keep Toro around. But I feel like we should. He's only 25, 850, might as well. Now, minor league-wise, there's a few guys... I think I'll let them go because they were pretty bad. Uh, except for Moreno was actually pretty good in double A. We'll offer him a minor league extension. He's 27. He still has a chance. And you know what? Maduro? No. We're going to let Maduro go. I don't see uh, Maduro doing anything for us. Okay, so we're going to continue here and get to the salary arbitration um, because, you know, we obviously, oh, there's no room on this. Okay, well, this guy, this guy was really bad. I think we'll just release him because there's no room for him. And this guy was actually pretty good. Is there anybody I want to release? That's a real big question here. Was there anybody really bad? Well, if we're not keeping... Well, we are keeping Toro. Who are we not keeping? Let me see. We're not keeping Hernandez. We could release Hernandez. 
All right, there we go. Moreno wants uh, to move on. Okay, that's fine. You can get an opportunity somewhere else. Good luck. But uh, you were pretty bad for us, so you're not going to be missed. Um, let me see here. Oh, uh, single season leaders are on the corners there if you guys want to look at them. Salary arbitration hearings are happening here. So it looks like we got all our money sorted out and we'll actually be able to see what we have going on here as the free agents file. We also have international free agents uh, coming back here. So we could offer some deals. And, you know, staying within budget is kind of overrated. I always say that we're going to stay in budget, but I feel like we got to... You know, we got to spend money to make money. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this guy, Juan, John Hoon Juan, uh, is 26, 5'9", 180 pounds. He's a relief pitcher. He wants five years, which is quite a lot. But, you know, if we take off $5 million here, take off another five here, and then another four here. That's fourteen million. Fifteen. Uh oh, not ten k. We'll add a million there. And we'll make this a team option. We'll add fourteen million there. Okay, so that that's the same amount of money he wants. But it's more uh, team friendly, you know what I'm saying? I don't like a team option, like a buyout. Okay. Oh, he doesn't want to. Oh, okay. So we can distribute it like this. Okay, that's that will work. Yeah, we'll submit that offer. Cause I don't mind the five years. It's a little risky for sure, but it's you know we need. To defer the money we're using nationals tactics you know it's it's rough in miami um let's see 2023 we're already at 78 yeah we're gonna need to trade cassianos there's no way we can afford to keep him we'll have to shop him around at the winter meetings possibly garrett cooper too he's making five million we'll give evan white uh the deal uh to play first base but yeah, we're going to have to trade some guys. All right, so free agents filed, and there are quite a few interesting ones. Xander Bogarts is very interesting, 30 years old. I don't think I want to go down that path. Carlos Rodon, now that would add some stability to the rotation. I might like that. Buster Posey apparently is still around. Manuel Margot, Charlie Morton. Now, what does Rodon want? Rodon wants 39 years, $33 million a year. Wow. Brantley wants $19 million five years at age 35? Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. J.D. Martinez wants four years. This is uh, quite the demanding free agent class. I'm looking for something more uh, on the value side, like Trevor Bauer. Now, Trevor Bauer wants five years, $12.6 million. That is actually not a terrible deal. And it's probably realistic given the um, situation he's in. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. I kind of want to offer him that. Four years, $63 million. Let's, uh, let's submit the offer. That puts us at negative $2.5 million. So we'll stop there and see what happens here with these two offers. But we do need pitching. I would love Carlos Rodon, but highly unlikely. 
so let's go and I'm going to vote for 10th year players because they uh, they need to get in, you know. Billy Wagner needs to get in too. Kind of a thin list. Uh, Big Poppy, obviously. Julio Franco. Carlos Beltran. Bobby Abreu. Mm, John Lackey. Sure, why not? We'll vote for him. Andy Pettit, yeah. Okay, we'll submit the ballot. All right, that will do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.